Okay, in this video, I'm just sending out an alert to all my subscribers that are techs because this is something I have not seen in I can't tell you how many years. I've been using these subco valves probably over 50 years. And so I went on a couple of jobs this week. And when I put the line tab valve in there to check the back pressure, I got zero reading. And I thought, well, how can that be? Because if there was refrigerant in there, the pressure would be at room temperature. And with the compressor running, I still got no pressure. So I told one of my customers that you know, she needed a new switching valve on the wine cooler. And uh, I went back a second time and decided not to do it in the customer's home because she had this beautiful wood floor and I just was afraid to damage it. So anyway, I went on another job yesterday and I had the same problem. I put the, one of these Subco line tap valves on. I got zero reading. So as a curiosity, I loosened the screws to the tap valve and then I could hear gas coming out. So uh, my curiosity got the best of me because eventually what I did was I cut the, I took this off and then soldered on a, a process port and got the machine up and running. But this is the valve that I took off and I took out, here's the pin that came out and I cannot blow through there. It's clogged. It's not coming out of here and it's not coming out of there. So I stuck this all in here and I could feel something in there. Like, I don't know, a piece of rubber, maybe a piece of nylon, maybe it's from the machine. I don't know. I'm just sending out a warning. So if you, if you run into a job, and you're getting zero reading on your gauge. Check your tap valve. It could be that. All right. Talk to you later.